America entered the 60s in a sort of turmoil as people struggled with the effects of racism and segregation and the Cold War raged on. The early 60s ended up being a very influential time period on America's history as it was marked by a number of influential events. Eight of the most important events of the time period shaped the country in unthinkable ways as the Cold War caused chaos and racism continued, but at the same time the United States saw unimaginable advancements as the first man was sent into orbit and the Civil Rights Act was signed. It was an era that would change America forever. As America flew into the 60s, fear of communism was running at an all-time high, and neighboring country Cuba could not be trusted. As Kennedy came to office, he was briefed of a plan that had been developed to hopefully overthrow the communist government in Cuba. It consisted of training Cuban exiles to invade Cuba at the Bay of Pigs and hopefully take over. Castro found out about the training extremely early in the process, dooming it from the get-go. Kennedy authorized the plan after he became president, but Castro had already been aware for nearly half a year. The Bay of Pigs attack ended up a complete failure, with nearly all of the Cuban exiles being imprisoned by the Cuban government. American involvement was clear to the Cubans, and President Kennedy was put in the spotlight for this giant mistake. All, all of this only deteriorated the Cuba-American relations and set the two countries up for a dismal future. On February 20, 1962, the United States Space Program, NASA, sent John Glenn from Cambridge, Ohio, into space. Glenn's mission was to orbit the Earth. Glenn did so successfully three times. Glenn isn't just an ordinary person that worked for NASA and wanted to go into space. Rather, he was a highly decorated pilot. Born on July 18, 1921, Glenn flew planes all over the world for the United States Air Force. He flew in 59 combat missions during his service in World War II. After the war, he was a member of a Marine Fighter Squadron in the North China Patrol and served in Guam. His, the achievements go on forever with John Glenn. However, this event is very important in regards to the space race. The United States had an ongoing competition with the Soviet Union, who at the time had always been a few steps ahead in the space race. The space race was important because those who dominated the skies held great threats toward the other countries when it comes to war and destruction. In the 1960s, the space race was one of the ongoing conversations during the Cold War. The American public was constantly in fear knowing that the Soviet Union could reach their homes with missiles and nuclear weapons. The fear slowly dissipated when the Americans matched the Soviets move for move in the space race. Not only were we breaking records in space and engineering, we were also moving forward in American athletics. Having athletes like Will Chamberlain, who on March 2, 1921, broke the scoring record for the NBA with 100 points in one game, defeating the New York Knicks 169 to 147. This not only left many people in disbelief, not only for the American for the athleticism that it took, but for the fact that Will Chamberlain is an African American, which for the time period was unheard of because the civil rights movement has even occurred. The nation was making progress in all areas of society. In the wake of the botched attempt at the Bay of Pigs, a new conflict arose between Cuba and the United States. This time Cuba was just the middleman as they allowed the Soviet Union to place nuclear missiles in Cuba so that they could be in extremely close proximity to the United States. This sent the government and country as a whole into a whirlwind called the Cuban Missile Crisis. The sites were originally discovered by a supply plane in October of 1962. After days of a discussion, it was decided that a naval blockade of Cuba was the best option as they demanded the removal of the missiles. It was the height of the Cold War and was easily the closest that the world came to complete nuclear warfare. Thankfully, a deal was able to be worked out that took the Soviet missiles out of Cuba and the American missiles out of Turkey. It was the start of improving relationships between the two countries and allowed for peace to start creeping back in between the countries. Both countries were forever changed by the scare and neither ever wanted to return to imminent chance for nuclear warfare. With a gathering of 250,000 people, the March on Washington is easily one of the greatest demonstrations of its time as people fought for reform in the area of civil rights. This monumental event occurred on August 28, 1963. In the year 1963, it was known in American history as a year of turbulence as demonstrations became more prevalent and African Americans continued to be treated unjustly. They were essentially attempting to cause the government to pass civil rights legislation and to get rid of segregation in schools, among a few other things that they felt was necessary for a fair society. The march occurred with a noted level of peacefulness. With timeless speeches like 
Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech and many others, the March on Washington had an enormous impact on the civil rights movement of the time. John F. Kennedy was the 35th President of the United States, representing the Democratic Party. He was the youngest man and the first Roman Catholic in office. He was born into an extremely wealthy family. When elected into office, JFK inherited many problems left from the former president. Kennedy confronted the tensions of the Cold War and Cuba, as well as Vietnam and other places, all while providing federal support for the civil rights movement. Kennedy was famous, and he was loved amongst the greater population of America. He, confront he confronted many of America's problems, which is why his assassination on November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, sent shockwaves around the world and turned the all-too-human Kennedy into a larger-than-life heroic figure. He is still looked at today as one of the most loved presidents this nation has had. The death of Kennedy by gunman Lee Oswald was one of the most horrific and shocking events of the 20th century and one of the most important events during the early 60s. African Americans have been mistreated in America for hundreds of years. That is, until the Civil Rights Act was signed on July 2, 1964. The document made our country truly free to all those living here. Precisely, the Civil Rights Act, and I quote, enforces laws that prohibit discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, national origin, disability, or age in hiring, promoting, firing, setting wages, testing, training, apprenticeship, and all the other terms and conditions of employment. Race, color, sex, creed, and age are now protected classes. One of the biggest questions of the early 1960s lies in the Tonkin Gulf attack. The story says that the United States destroyers Maddox and Turner Joy were attacked by North Vietnamese on August 4, 1964. It only took a few hours after the attacks for President Johnson to order airstrikes in North Vietnam. It is widely believed that the attacks are completely true but many also believe that it was either completely or partially made up to convince the American people of the necessity to enter Vietnam with full force. The evidence leads to a conclusion, however, that it was a genuine mistake and there was no attack. Either way, the Tonkin Gulf Resolution followed three days later on the 7th, which gave President Johnson full control to take all necessary measures to stop the Vietnamese from mounting any other aggression against the United States. President Johnson turned this into a green light to go ahead and escalate involvement in Vietnam to extreme levels. It was the start of a war that would leave our country completely. The 60s in America were like a roller coaster, many ups and downs. But during this time period, America really took steps forward as a nation, rewriting how society treats each other to making steps for mankind in space. Incredible wars were fought and conflicts were resolved. The uh, roaring 60s were a time in America that should never be forgotten.